kung may tiranin, may aanihin. It means, if you plant, you harvest. Twelve midnight, there's no light. I got two buckets, hang them across my shoulders with a bamboo bar. We walk in the dark to the well and fell our buckets with drinking water. I have to go number two. Good thing I'm already outside. Just need a newspaper or a piece of bamboo to scrape myself off with. The floor is made of bamboo. We sleep on it with just woven mats spread across the living room floor. Flower sacks was out and stuffed with old clothes for pillows. Kung may tinanim, may aanihin. It rains often. I usually walk barefoot. I prefer it. My feet get covered in mud and I just wash them when I get wherever I'm going. I carry my shoes over my shoulders, fingers hooked into the thong of my flip-flops. We bath and wash our clothes in the river. We're lucky to have two sets of decent clothes. I know I want to marry her when I met her while she was going to nursing school. We write letters to each other. Whenever she replies, she sends me my letters back marked with correction. She's editor-in-chief at school. There's an ad in the local paper recruiting Filipinos in the U.S. Navy. So I applied and my call card comes in in the mail a few months after. I haven't even graduated high school yet. There are 1,700 of us when I showed up. There are tests, written, oral interview, and physical exam. By the end, I'm still standing with only 23 other guys. My position is a steward because it's the only job I'm allowed to do. I see mostly Filipinos, few Guamanians, and few black Americans in our rank. I'm told these positions used to be reserved for black men but it's frowned upon now because of the civil rights movement. Filipinos will have these jobs now because of the contract between the U.S. government and the Philippine government. I can be a perfect sailor, ace my task, but we see the system is built to make it impossible for stewards to climb the ranks. Kung may tiranin, may aanihin. Along the way, I learned something. I am a slow learner, but I can also tell myself that the only difference between me and someone smart is that I just have to work twice as hard.
We work hard. We work through the night. We work through the rain. We work so hard that the barriers we face cannot stop us. When people work hard to bring us down, we show them our hard work. I started picking up tennis balls for Americans on a U.S. Air Force base in Baguio City, Philippines, when I was 12 years old. I have been a houseboy, a caddy, a steward, a janitor, and a waiter, among other things. Our family started renting room in South Philadelphia and climbed our way to our own home in San Diego. We have petitioned and brought our parents and siblings to this country, 25 of them total. We have been nurses, postal workers, served food, work in factories. We have come here as engineers, accountants, doctors in our origin country and had to come back to school to retake exams we've already taken and get licensed again for jobs we have already worked. My father came here at 57 years old, used to work night shift at Jack in the Box. Our people are never too good, never expecting anything, but always willing to do what we have to do for our families to thrive. We have struggled. I am full of mistakes, but we have kept our struggles to ourselves. So you wouldn't grow up thinking that you are different or any less capable. But even in my old body, I can still learn from younger generations. It's time we share our stories. People can hate you. People can even lay their hands on you. But we can push back with love. We can use our hands for hard work. We can because it is who we are. In that can never be taken away, Apo. Kung may tinanin, may aanihin. If you plant, you harvest.